Now we're going to try and create a stratified sample. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our our test scores, which we've now actually applied another field to, which is gender. So we have the gender of the person who took the test, and we have their associated scores. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and create a stratified random sample. We want to make sure that we have an equal proportion, because in this case what we've done is we've done a count of the female students and the male students using the count if function. Uh, we do count if with the range female, which gives us 60, and count if with the range of the male, which gives us 40. And so we then calculate a proportion based on the total amount, which is done by adding up the two counts of female and male. So we have a 60% proportion for female and a 40% proportion for male. Now if we want to select a sample size of 10, it would be appropriate to select and make sure that our sample had a similar proportion. So this is where we would stratify our our uh, data set. So we have our uh, male and female gender test scores and what we're going to do is we're going to generate a random number for all of them. And we're going to use this simple rand function once again which will give us a number between 0 and 1. And we will copy this down completely and we get our various random scores. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we hold these random values static. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy these values once again and this time we're actually going to copy and paste them in place. So we're going to do we copy them, we're going to do paste special, we're going to paste the values directly on top of the uh, values themselves. So we're basically in a sense wiping away the actual random function because we've already got our values and that's all we need. So once we do that, you can see that we have our values and the RAND function is now gone from them. But that's okay. What we're then going to do is we're going to now sort the entire table. We'll click sort. We're going to sort by the gender first. And then we'll sort by the random number. Now when we do that, we can see that all the females are have their random numbers in order. And if we go down to the male options here, all of those are in order as well. And so now it would be very easy for us, and we'll do this manually right now. We've seen, we've shown how to do this a uh, couple of other methods in other videos. We're going to take the first six, copy those values there, and then we will take the next, the first four of the male, and put these over into our data set. And we've now created a stratified uh, block random sample that is proportional to the proportions of the original data set that we have.